Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to beat all the bosses um, in the f Cavalier event with using four stars for the four star challenge. If you want to do it, um, I found the best team for me was you should definitely have Ghost rank five if you want to do the Cavalier event because she just helps a lot. Um, definitely Ant Man, Wasp, Hood, and then the extra fifth character is basically who you need for the boss if you can't use Ghost. Um, you don't need to have Ant Man in the team, but I found it helped a lot because of how big the health pools were having that extra attack with the synergy very much helps um but for like the first boss i brought like full ghost energy and then a human torch for the boss i definitely think human torch is the best four star for this boss um just because he can build up nova flame since it's a mystic character and yeah this first boss sasquatch is basically just a big ass sasquatch that's pretty much what it is so um Anyone who, I mean, Quake can one-shot this boss, um, Human Torch. I think Ghost can, too, if, she, if you're skilled with her. Um, Ghost can definitely, yeah. But for me, I found four-star Human Torch just melted him pretty quickly. In, like, a, I think, like, a minute and a bit. Oh, also, he has Kinetic Transference. I think what his, that's what his note is. The only challenge in this fight is when he's in Wrath of Tanarak, and, you know, he goes unstoppable. But other than that, and I guess the Kinetic Transference, but it's not that bad. But, um, yeah, this, this fight, I think, I think out of every boss, I think, um, I think we either use Human Torch or Ghost for every boss. So for boss fights, make sure you have a Human Torch and Ghost. There's, there's a, I think you can Ghost every boss, though, if I, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, I don't know 100%, but, yeah, that's, uh, him down. Next box is Red Hulk. This guy basically is a big-ass Red Hulk with, um, Mixmaster. And, um, Bane. So, you can really use anyone over this fight. You just have to make sure to make, um, your combo is not the same hit. Or you're gonna, um, what is it? Or you're going to get evaded on. That won't be fun. So, right here, I think I threw my special two by accident. Um, without dashing back, so I didn't get the phase. But, pretty tragic. I think this is one of the easier bosses. It's just kind of annoying because you have to slow play it a lot, but it's a pretty easy boss overall. You just what I'm doing with ghosts is just medium light, um, and then weaving in the heavy attacks to get more buffs when I can to make my special two hit harder. So we're gonna get more furies here, and I think we're about to launch a big ass special two. Yeah. So, that, I mean, there's not that much to say about this boss. You can really use anyone. But once again, the health pools are so fucking big. And your health pool is so small that using a character like Ghost that doesn't need to block to get her ends in is probably just the best choice. That or Quake. Quake could also do this. So, right here, I'm just waiting for him to run at me. And then I throw my special two, and the fight's over. Okay, why not? It's over now. Alright, so next fight, uh, Professor X. This fight's kind of annoying because he has. um. Oh, what's the node? The node where when he throws a special, he um goes um unstoppable and has like the evade charge for like a few seconds. I got slapped in the beginning of this fight, but I still won. It also has ninety percent crit resistance. So for me, um, I thought the best option is Human Torch because his mediums are energy, so you get charges. And um, yeah, I just put him in Nova Flame for this fight. Um, also he you know. Professor X's natural abilities is every like 20 seconds you get a falter and you know human torch if your temperature is high enough falter doesn't matter So I take even more block hits there to the special three at this point in the fight I thought I was gonna lose pretty badly, but I still think we managed to clutch the one shot I don't think after this boss we one shot any of the other three bosses It's definitely possible, but I kind of fucked up and I didn't really care to go for the one shot again so yeah this fight is just kind of slow. You should play it slow, honestly. But I definitely think Human Torch is one of the better options. Um, so recall, I think we use Human Torch for two bosses and Ghost for four. So if you're going to do this Cavalier Challenge, I definitely advise um, having Ghost as a four star. I'll also, um, I'm not going to show you which path to take because I'm pretty sure you, if you're in Cavalier difficulty, you could figure that out on your own. But if you're like an uncollected player and you don't know how to do the uncollected boss. This is a harder version of it, and I'm using only four stars, so that could be helpful for like newer players, just to see which characters I use and shit. 
Um, but yeah, Human Torch is a really good option for this fight because he just can get so many um, Smolder. Uh, you just get a slow play. Captain America Infinity War is also pretty good, I think, because he um, can get rid of the Unstoppable, but he won't be able to crit, so that's kind of annoying. So yeah, right there, right there, special two, fight's over. Fourth fight, uh, Maestro. This fight is really annoying, I found, honestly. I think, ooh, I'm trying to think. I think, yeah, the most annoying fight. What's it? I think he definitely, him, he's definitely either the top or second most annoying. Um, it's either him or Immortal Hulk, in my opinion. Because he has a node that basically means um, whoever has more unique buffs gains power. So I found sometimes you wouldn't throw a special 2 and you just go to special 3. And his special 3 does have a stun on it, so it's kind of annoying. But I will say um, Ghost kind of works well because if you phase right before the special 3, yeah, he'll either only hit you up with his last hit into your phase into the stun or he'll completely just whiff and it won't hit you at all another thing that makes this fight kind of hard is the fact that it's just maestro and this special one if it hits you you're pretty much just dead so that's fun um yeah i just use ghost i definitely think ghost is one of the better options you could really use anyone for this fight theoretically but you just gotta be careful with his power because he can go to three barbers of power pretty easily so i'd advise use anyone who has um Anyone who um, can power control a little bit, that'd be very helpful too. And then I think right here we get hit with the special one and we just die so quickly, so that's fun. Uh, now that I revive, go in um, again. This fight, I don't know. I, I'm trying to think who the best option is. Maybe Dr. Voodoo, because he can get rid of all the buffs and create, change it into poison. Quake can definitely one-shot it. Actually, yeah, Quake can one-shot it because he won't be gaining his buffs if you're not hitting him. I think that's how Maestro works. I don't really know too much about this character, to be honest. Um, who else would work really well? Archangel would probably work really well. Um, Doctor Doom would definitely work. Magic would definitely work. Um, yeah, either power gain or just a strong damage up a character that you're just going to have to bait out specials with. Right here, look, we phase like right when you do the special. So he's not even gonna hit us once, look at that. We just phase through the entire stun. I will say after a special three though, that like black ice or thing he puts on you or whatever, one of the debuffs, it's like a tiny bit of ability accuracy reduction I found. So sometimes my phase wasn't working after that. Um, I don't know if that was the node or if that was just him, but I found that was happening sometimes. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Right here, we throw another special two. It does decent damage because we have the Ant-Man synergy. Um, without the Ant-Man synergy, we'd be hitting a lot less hard, and these fights would be a lot longer. I found the Ant-Man synergy to probably be one of the most important ones out of uh, Ghost, Wasp, and Ant-Man. Just because these four-star fights against 300k opponents are just so long. So yeah, he's down. Next, we bring Ghost again into Hulk Immortal. Now, this fight is um, definitely one-shottable with a lot of characters. Basically, what you want to do, what I found, um, is bait out special one, because the special one is just like two swings, basically, or like a jump in two swings. It's really easy to, easy to dodge. But the way this guy works, which you're going to see, because I think I one-shot this boss, or two-shot, I don't know. I might have died. But the thing with this fight is, when you get him to 1% health, he goes fully unblockable for like 10 seconds, and he can't die. And then he'll regen like... A certain percent of his health back based on how many charges he has and um, he won't gain his immortality buff for like I think it's like another 30 40 seconds so whatever character you do bring in you better make sure they can um, deal that amount of damage in 30 40 seconds because if they can't then you'll be in a pretty much an infinite loop of him just getting his immortality back and then regening back up to like 30 40 percent or whatever so you got to make sure you have a character who can kill him um, if you're worried about that, like you don't have any crazy damage dealers, like you don't have a ghost, I advise, um, just bringing in Void probably, or any like health, re um, reversal character, so that when he goes immortal and he triggers his regen, he won't heal at all, and then you'll just have 40 seconds to do one point of damage, which if he can't do, which would be pretty sad. Um, so I think heal reversal characters is a pretty good option for stopping his regen. But he goes unstoppable and unblockable, I think. Or, I don't know if he goes unstoppable. Look, he's going to go... I'm going to get him down. 
And then when he starts regenerating, it seems the way it was feeling. When I was playing against him, it felt like he was going like invisible. Like I'd hit him right when the regen would trigger and it would just kind of miss my attack. It was kind of weird. But, oh, I remember why I'd die, actually. I'd... So he throws a special three, I'm fine, whatever. And look, he regenerates his health back. He's at like, what, 40%-ish? Uh, so now you gotta do that amount of damage in this time. And I think right here, I go like a little bit stupid. Um, yeah, I remember why I died now. I got him to th three bars of power and I forgot to um, phase. So without the hood synergy, I just dive in the special three. I'm pretty sure at least. Yeah. So right here, launch a special two. Didn't kill him. I was pretty sad. Got him a special. Got him a special two. I could have just baited it out, but I don't think he was throwing it. I can't remember. I recorded this like yesterday. So, no, I just went for it. I went for the. Oh, yeah. I tried to get enough power for the special one so I could throw it and finish it, but didn't calculate that part. So, right here, we get him again to 1%. And once again, you're going to see him heal back to that 30, 40%. So that's how you can see this fight can get pretty dangerous pretty quickly. Um, you gotta make sure you have a character you're gonna damage. She right there, I whiffed. It was kind of weird. I don't, I don't really know what happened, but I'm alive, so I'm gonna make it count. And I throw my special two whiffs. This fight was a little bit sus, but I think I do kill him, even though the fight started and I was already at like one percent health. It is kind of weird though. I think like right when he goes to the regen, he will like go invisible a tiny bit. It's kind of weird. So just don't attack him for a second. Or else you'll whiff like that and then you get smacked. So yeah, this fight, the golden rule is um, bait out the special one if you can. And then make sure you have a damaged character who can kill him before he gets his immortality back. So yeah, like a heal reversal or damage character. So that's Hulk Immortal down. This next fight um, isn't that hard, but I think I died a few times from stupid mistakes. So the what the, what I found with this fight is it's kind of confusing, but I just found as a character who just puts a shit ton of poisons on you. I didn't really read the abilities too much. I would advise dodging once again the special one. He he kind of rolls at you. It's kind of quick. You'll see, um, like this. You'll see like I'm barely dodging it and it'll slam down. Um, but I found that to be better than the special two. The special two, I think you can definitely fully dodge it, but I didn't really know how and I didn't want to really want to risk it. So I blocked it and you take a lot of block damage. So I would advise just go for the special ones over and over again. But when he does fire off his special two, I found that um, after he throws his special two, he puts poisons on you a lot more and a lot faster. So um, yeah, keep that in mind. Look, you're gonna, you're gonna see. Okay, so yeah, like I blocked it. I took like 90% of my health. That's very fun. And then after throwing the special two, he just spam puts poisons on you. And I should have been doing one hit combos. No, actually I was, but the thing was too long. So I'm trying to stay alive, but these poisons just keep coming. And I think eventually there's just too many. And I, yeah, they just die. So I revive up. I do think I die again. I think I used two revives in this fight because I fucked up a little bit. I forgot why, but for this fight, I would just advise using a poison immune character. Any poison immune character can work and then just spam dodge special one over and over again and that's all there is to it. So it's really not that hard. Just literally any character can do it. Um, yeah, right there I tried to intercept and I got special one, died. So yeah, for this fight, um, Ghost works. You can definitely one shot him, but you have to be careful with some of the poison timings. Uh, if you want an easy one shot, I'd say Red Hulk. I used Red Hulk and use I used my 6 star rank 2 Red Hulk and he just destroyed this fight. Um, something with the node makes my, your like energy damage do more damage, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, give a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.